Swami. Yeah, good morning, everyone. Hope everyone's doing good. Yeah, it should be like a day of mourning, honestly. Yeah, Finland joining the NATO. I'm just looking at Jens Stoltenberg right there, and all I can say is, yeah, congrats, Finland. Uh, not. We understand who the NATO is. I mean, you just look at their name, NATO and OTAN. They're already telling you loud and clear right there. And Mr. Jens standing there with his, you know, hand sign. We know all that he's united with, you know. That logo, the five stars, Alice Bailey, all of that, just we understand. It's about destroying Christianity. It's about the new world order. It's about so many things. And this was way before you and I were born. Or at least I think that's the case for anyone out here listening to me. But I don't know. But it was all about going for the children, not going for the old people who were stuck in their old traditions because they will not change. They're after the children. And he's standing there, you know, with his Hakini Mudra hand sign, right? Just like all the other politicians and many others, you know, you can look at, sure, all the great benefits, but I would not be using that hand sign at all. And look what it says right here, Hakini, God of the forehead. <laughs> wow. What does it say in the Bible? Set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth. Set your mind on things above. Whichever translation you want to use, yes, we know the KG, KJV is the, the more proper one, but I'm just saying sometimes it's good to look at other versions. But let's listen to a clip. Let's see what this man has to say right here, and then we'll go from there. I welcome the vote by the Turkish Grand National Assembly to ratify Finland's membership in NATO. All 13 NATO allies have now ratified the accession protocol. And I have just spoken with President Sauli Ninistu to congratulate him on this historic occasion. Finland will formally join our alliance in the coming days. Their membership will make Finland safer and NATO stronger. Their membership will make Finland safer and NATO stronger. I look forward to also welcoming Sweden as a full member of the NATO family as soon as possible. All right, as I always say, watch the entire clips on your own. This one's only about a minute 47 long. But what does he say in there? Oh, all 30 NATO alliances have now ratified the accession protocol. Oh, there's, so there's 30, 30 of them. Oh, they love that three, right? I just always have to point that out. And how he spoke to President Sauli Ninistu to congratulate him. Yeah, I know. You guys are all brothers. You're in the club, right? You're with your Order of the Cross of Terra Mariana First Class, right? That's what he has. And we know that Mr. Hmm, Sauli Ninistu, he's in the club. He's got his white rose cro cross as well as many other things. So yeah, they're in the club. And as for, you know, Jan... Jens, uh, his family line, take a look, Stoldenberg family, yeah, he's related to this man right here, Carl P. Stoldenberg was a Norwegian merchant ship owner and politician, and when you look at the rest of the family, look, they're all in the elite club as well, whether they were producers, um, politicians, prime ministers, diplomats, you name it, I mean, seriously, they were all born with a silver spoon up their butt. <laughs> I mean, seriously, you guys know what I mean. As for this one, he was a painter, Matthias Stoltenberg. Uh, those are the first two pictures I found. I'm sure there's others out there. But they have parks named after them, streets named after them. I mean, seriously, we understand. And his father, by the way, Thorvald Stoltenberg, was a part of the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. That was his title. And he also helped found the Council of Baltic Sea States. Look, there's so much to learn when you start looking at family. But you guys all know who the United Nation is and the Red Cross. We understand all this. Interesting symbol right there, by the way, on his desk. Hmm, just saying. I thought I'd look at that. But anyway, he's got his own little monument. He's got, you know, I'm sure a stamp. But other things, awards he's won. He promoted the one world system, you know, 
Interesting that that One World Trade Center observation deck looks just like Agenda 2030, by the way. Anyhow, but yeah, he's met Nelson Mandela and many others, so I don't need to tell you about his family. This man's family is very much born with a silver spoon. So, Finland's safer <laughs> and NATO stronger. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Or should I say, uh, not, right? I mean, we all understand. And he mentioned yesterday in a separate video that tomorrow we will welcome Finland as the 31st member of NATO. 31, right? 31. Oh, another number that they love. Look, I don't need to get into the numbers. I try to stay away from them, honestly. But we can see who NATO is. And whatever this day represents, 4-4, four, four, I'm sure it represents many things. The 12 nations were the day that they signed the NATO in, right? Uh, whether it was Apollo 6, you know, being launched, or the Twin Towers, hmm, dedicated the, on this day. Microsoft was found on this day. It's also China holds a national day of mourning on this day. Uh, there's a lot of things. You'll, you can look. You can look up what Wikipedia has to say on, on this day. But sure, great that they're going to raise the Finnish flag, you know, amongst all these others. <laughs> Honestly, all I can say is the first few words of the Finnish anthem, and that's Oi Suomi. Oh, Finland, right? <laughs> super. No, not super. We understand. And then he says here, oh, I'll play this for you. Russia and China are challenging the international order. Hmm. Where, oh, where have we heard that one before? At the time when Russia and China are challenging the international order, at the time when Russia and China are challenging the international order, the international order are challenging the international order and democratic values, it is even more important that we stand together as NATO allies. Stand together as NATO allies. And with like minded partners. That supporting Ukraine means supporting peace, democracy and the international order. That supporting Ukraine means supporting peace, democracy, and the international order. And right now, uh, the war is not only concerning Ukraine, but actually the whole world. The rule-based order is being challenged more and more. The rule-based order... Ladies and gentlemen, for the rules-based order, the rule of law is essential. Ladies and gentlemen, for the rules-based order, the rule of law is essential. So I just don't know where I've heard that before, you know? No, we don't know anything of what's going on. We don't know that they're in the clubs, do we? Oh, and then he says, stand together as NATO allies and with like-minded partners. Look, we know exactly what kind of like-minded partners he's talking about. We understand how the UN and the WHO, they're all interwoven and linked with the Lucius Trust. If you don't understand any of what I'm saying, please start digging into all of this. Lucius Trust's former name was Lucifer Trust. So yeah, I don't trust anything of what's going on. I don't trust any of these people. Not Jans, not Saulini, not any of them. I put my trust in God and God alone. Oh, for God has not called us unto uncleanliness, but unto holiness. I'm in the book of Thessalonians. If you want to read with me, please do. It's very important that you read the word. It, it sharpens you. It, it gives you strength. It gives you peace and joy and just understanding that God is always with us. Because time is really running short. It's very is. It, yeah. So anyway, just wanted to share that Finland joined NATO. Notice that, and someone even shared in a comment yesterday on my third channel that take a look, and I already, I was already on it. <laughs> All right, God bless you guys. Take care. Let's catch you guys again tomorrow. Till next time.